back in Port Charles. I wonder where Scotty could have gone. He'd have thought he'd at least have the decency to say goodbye. But then he's been so weird lately. You know he stopped communicating with everybody? I mean, not even Brian or his father. And you'd never see him at the discos. Amy, darling, why don't you talk to us about school or something, huh? I'm sorry, Laura. It's all right. No, I shouldn't have brought up Scotty. Especially when you're probably thinking about Luke being locked Amy. in the jail. <clears throat> Maybe I better get that, huh? Maybe you better. I'm sorry, hon. It's okay. It's okay. Well, look who's here. Hi. Hi, Hi sweetheart. I hope you don't mind my just stopping by like this. Hey. Dad. Hey, everything's gonna be just fine. I'll let you back home. Well, maybe it would be if I keep my big mouth shut. It's okay, Amy. Really, it's okay. No, it's not. I didn't mean to upset you by mentioning Luke. Amy, sweetheart, don't you think you ought to get dressed for school? No, I have plenty of time. Besides, you probably want some tea, huh? No, I really don't, Amy. Not at all. Thank you very much, but no. And I'm just so sure it's going to take you longer than usual to get ready today on account of your hair being such a mess and all. It is? Mm-hmm. Oh, of course, yeah. And um, you know what? I bet it's going to take me a long time to get ready uh, because uh, I better go upstairs now. Mm -hmm. Nice seeing you, Rick. <clears throat> you know she really does love me. She'll never change. Probably not. But I better, because I have work to do today, so you two can talk. Sure. Um, I guess the water's still hot. Would you like a cup of tea, Dad? No, really, honey. I, I don't care for tea at all. Okay. I'd like to find out how you are. Oh. Really. I'm frustrated. I'm angry at the world, and mostly I'm angry at myself. Well, you have changed this summer, haven't you? Yeah, I did. But I blew it the minute I got back to this town. With Lou? I can just imagine what he must be feeling right now. Well, do you have any plans for the day? You mean, have I thought about seeing him? Yes. Yes, I have, but it's going to be awfully hard to get anything done with all those reporters and photographers around. Well, they're not just going to go away. No. No, of course not. This is a big, splashy story. The notorious Laura Weber Baldwin comes back to town with Luke Spencer, the runaway lovers. I hate reporters. I just hate them. They're going to expose my feelings for Luke in such a disgusting way. You really do love it, don't you? Oh, Dad. For the first time in my life, I know what love really is. What about Scotty? That was a way of proving to everyone that I'd grown up. I wanted Scotty for purely selfish reasons, Dad. How about Luke? He needs me. And I need him. And we believe in each other and, and we trust each... We did trust each other. And we would have died for each other. Oh, Dad, I love him. And I betrayed him. Laura, I can't tell you that he's going to understand. Well, I know how I would have felt if he betrayed me. And so you're ashamed of yourself? More than I have ever been in my life. But, but not about anything that I did this summer. I will never be ashamed of my feelings for Luke. I love him, and I always will. Well, I see you've changed your mind. Amy, I could not resist. Well, I'd stick around and join you for another cup of coffee, but uh, I've got to get to class now. You want to meet for lunch later? Uh, I have plans today, Amy. Oh, well, then maybe tomorrow. Well, I just thought it would be fun for you to get back to campus again. And, you know, you could maybe look into enrolling for next semester. Don't you think that's a good idea? I'm sure that Laura hasn't had a chance to think about any of that. 
I really haven't, Amy. Well, think about it, okay? Sure. I'll see y'all later. Bye, hon. Bye. Bye. There's only one Amy Vining, isn't oh, there? You can say that again. You know, uh, I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do with this evening, much less what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. I mean, college and lunch with the gang is about the farthest thing from my mind right now. I think we could both guess what is on your mind right now. Luke, what are you going to do about that, hon? I've got to see him. I've got to try and make him listen to me, try and make him understand why I did the things I did, and then just hope that he'll be able to forgive me. Do you feel that you need help? No, Mother. I have to do this alone. Well, those reporters are going to be all over you the second you go down to the police station. I don't care. Look, I don't want you involved in this. I'll handle it myself, all right? And I'll see Luke if I have to fight my way through reporters to do it. Whatever you say. I can at least drop you off. No. I'll call a cab. Why don't you take my car? I can take a taxi to work if you're not back by then. Are you sure? Of course I am. Keys are upstairs in my purse. Thank you, Mother. You're Thank welcome. you both. We love you, honey. She's a very different girl from when she left. Well, she's a grown woman now. She's no longer a girl. I can't even believe the difference. Just, just because Frank Smith came into our lives. Yeah, one man caused so much destruction. Do you know that Steve is really serious about his resignation? Maybe I could talk some sense in time. You think so? It's worth a try. Rick? Ja? Yeah. Vielen Dank, dass du mir mit Laura so geholfen hast. Leslie, Laura wird immer meine Tochter sein. Ich hoffe, dass sich das nie ändern wird. Also, wünscht mir Glück. Ich wünsche dir alles Glück der Welt, Laura. Mother? Ja, yeah, what is it? They wouldn't let me see him. Can you believe that? Oh, honey. Where is Dad? He went to the Hardys. Tell me what happened. Bobby and Ruby were standing guard, and, and Bobby really read me off. And then she was absolutely delighted to tell me that, that uh, Ramsey gave an order that only Howard and the immediate family could see Luke. Well, can you believe that? You wouldn't believe the way she talked to me. I can't really blame her for wanting to protect him from being hurt anymore. Mother. Honey, you're going to have to accept the fact that a lot of people are not going to understand what you did. I don't even understand it. Well, then, how can you expect Bobby and Ruby to understand? And you better be prepared for the fact that Scotty's family are going to be just as protective of him. Do you understand? Yeah, I think I do. I just... I wish that you could have acknowledged the deep attraction, the, the love that you felt for Luke a little earlier. All of this might have turned out very differently. You're talking about honesty? Mm-hmm. I am. Although, don't you think that I'm being honest right now? All I want is to stand on my own two feet and find my way back to Luke. If it's the last thing I do. I keep feeling as if I shouldn't go off to work today. Mother, you're not hearing me. I want to be responsible for myself from now on. No more hiding behind you or Dad or anyone. Do you understand? I hear you. Okay. If you're home in time, we'll have dinner together tonight. I'll even tell Amy to go do something that we need some time to be alone. I'm not going to be here tonight, Mother. You're not? No. I'm going back to the apartment. I never should have come here in the first place. Will you be able to manage there? I managed all summer. I'll do it again. Okay, if you're sure that's what you want. I'm sure. The only thing I care about right now is finding my way back to Luke. That's all I want.